Hello.
guys i'm so i'm sure you you all can see the level of damage done to uh Dumais, Dumais road police station people police there police there why worry police there police there why worry police there you see they are all begging for police to return to our streets. A motor, a This is uh, the remains of Ubekun police station. This is the first police station that was attacked by hoodlums. You can see their logistics vehicles burn down.
for bringing the ice to a group. Hey boy, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please share this broadcast. Please, if you have people that are into Baba things, call them. Police, they are coming out fully to do their job. Please, they arrest you. They don't say prisoner, not their donor. They are the states. Maybe now, now, some for a prison, they'll go put you. I'm uh, not praying to the prison with, with uh, Boko Haram people. Mm -hmm. You'll be in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. So please, enough of the robbery. Stop ro robbing the poor. Stop oppressing the poor. Stop this nonsense. Please.
No more, I don't more, I don't more. <laughs> Alpha, Alpha. <laughs> It's all our oh, essay. <laughs> How far? Ah, hello. But the police today. Savior, we are on our way to uh, Saint Savior Police Station that was ra that was raised down and looted by hoodlums during the Ensas protest. Residents of the Savior are yearning for police to come back to our streets. The level of insecurity, daylight robbery, kidnapping around Ted Junction, St. Savior Road of Power is alarming. It's too much. It's too much.
Kali! Isa! Kali! Oye na! You can see all the POS points. They are no longer working because they are raped. They are they are raiding POS uh, uh, shops. They are taking their POS and collecting their money. You can only find a POS point working in a door right now. People have money in their accounts, they cannot access it. Please, even if we have issues, we don't like some what the activities of some police officers, we cannot we cannot live without the services of men of the Nigeria police force. It's very very clear now that criminals are just waiting to loot and frustrate our people. Ogba. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ogba ne. In thousands, there was only the police. They just had to, you know, we all know what happened there. They decided to have to. They have to just move their gear like Because it wasn't easy. You can't shut that then. You cannot do anything stupid at them because it will look injustice and people will look at it. So that was what they came to them. They do what they decided to do. Otherwise, nobody is happy about what they have done. It was the whole job. If not, it's the fact that the rulers are still about to be That's what they see happen. That's exactly what happened. My 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 question I am here. 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 I into the station, I tried my photo to make sure I found them how to do what I had in mind. As a policeman, I'm still a policeman until the day I, I, I retired, and I believe I'm still a policeman for the cop. The DPO on my side was beside me, 
we tied off our point where to make sure we persuade these people not to do anything in the car for the society or to the property of the government. But the past was the case. We were overpowered. Even when the order was given that no harm could be doing, in fact, I cried profusely, tears with my eyes, that a policeman would be killed Until when they did what they have come to do, in the police station here, to my shame, no repression I was killed. Even my car is one of the things they destroyed. I cried profusely. What has happened to the police? And why is the police now the wife of all these guys? However, it is done. What can we do? If we allow it to go that way, we give that to, to God. It is this way. I press my IG for his death, for his, for his reason. I press my IG, his position of police, Adamu. By name, I praise him very well that he did what he could to meet your their sanity in the society. Hence, we are living what we are living today. But I pray that the same IG will reform the, the police force that since such thing will not repeat itself again in society. And I want to give thanks to my DPO here in the name of Adelaide, who tried all the possible best to make sure there was, there was no destruction, but all to no avert. Okay, sir. I've heard of community policing. I've heard it. I, I have heard it. And I, I, I embrace that. If you embrace them as a community leader of this place, why is it that you are not able to pacify the youth to listen to you? Okay. Let me, let me correct this. That, let me correct this. That, this good question. That I am not a community leader. I am a retired policeman. But I'm not a, I'm not a leader. I'm not a leader. A lead, we have a leader here who should say much more about this police in here. So can you yeah, the first one, yeah. the first time they came to them, when they were able to bring them to don't yes. see any destruction yes. any of our properties, which they allowed. After that, everyone was killed. Yet I said to leave them because I could stay at my position. But because I, I am the chairman of the division, officials, that is why I decided to go there when I heard that there was a problem. Which, of course, I saw the police trying to make sure all of us try to, you know, pull those children in order. And those ones that listened to us, which I regarded as they were really out for a peaceful demonstration. But by the time those that were not expected to join them came, I wasn't there anymore. That was where, that was how they, they, they destroyed all that they destroyed. For, for we, the police in my division, they really tried their best, and they did work. And I don't thank God that very day that there was no life lost. Otherwise, it would have been a very big painful exercise because uh, no amount of money that buys any life. So I want to appeal to you, sir, that I'm, I appreciate your coming today to visit all the area that we destroyed. And the next step, because we don't sleep well again. Even this morning at about five o'clock at St. Savior, a robber that is a vehicle, it called a one one. This message is a uh, one ninety. About four boys. Those men that were coming out for their business, they were on the road waiting for a transport. That, that's how they just drove in and they stopped and they ransacked everybody. They took all their money, took all their belongings, their belongings. So I just want to beg my East Coast general sir, and those that are concerned about the authority, they should please help us so that the police can come back to work on time. Otherwise, the life of every Nigerian or every Edo light are at stake. I rest my case. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. My ID, my ID, I'm sure. Please, sir, save our lives. We are children. You are there as our head. The police, they are your children. Save their lives. Because when I saw what I saw on the Facebook, these amazing killings, maybe it's abnormal to the police. Please, sir. Whatever you know, you could do best. Please do it to safeguard the life, the life of the police. Man. Working towards making sure that this is in Nigeria. I have been there. I worked at police here, here, in here, and outside. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there.
This is Saint Savior Police Division. Looted, raised down by hoodlums. Now, members of the community are living in fear. This is one of their utility vehicles. Born down. No, go no, 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you. 